Hello guys, welcome back. Today let's learn about operation on integers. Arithmetic operations on integers. Integers include both zero, positive numbers and negative numbers. All four arithmetic operations can be performed on integers. Addition of integers. The sum of two or more positive integers is always positive. The sum of two or more negative integers is always negative. The sum of a positive integer and a negative integer can depend on the a sign of the greater number. It can be positive, negative or sometimes zero. The sign of the greater number is assigned to the re result. The rules which are helpful in adding and subtracting integers are here. The first rule that is plus of plus is addition. Here the plus sign is given to the answer. The second rule is minus of minus or addition. The plus symbol is given to the answer. Next plus of minus or subtraction. Here the sign of the greater number is given to the answer. Now, minus of plus or subtraction. The sign of the greater number is given to the problem again. We can remember this in a simple way. If they are same signs, then we need to add and the sign of the greater number is given to the solution. If they are different signs, then we need to subtract and the sign of the greater number is given to the solution. Subtraction of integers. To subtract an integer, we need to find and add its opposite. The procedure is as like this. Keep the first integer the same. Change the subtraction sign into an addition sign. Then change the sign of the number that is to be subtracted. Finally, solve it like an addition problem. This is simple and need not be confused. You can watch it again to understand. Now let's move on to multiplying integers. The good news is that multiplying and dividing integers is, are not that tough as adding or subtracting. The rules are here. The product of two uh, integers with the same sign is positive. The product of integers with different signs is negative. So positive integer into positive integer is always positive. Negative integer into negative integer is always positive. Negative integer into positive integer is negative. The positive integer into negative integer is negative. They are not that tough but yeah, they are easy to learn. Dividing integers. The quotient of two integers with the same sign is always positive. The quotient of two integers with different signs is negative. So, they are the same rules as multiplication. Positive divided by a positive is positive. Negative divided by a negative is negative. Negative divided by a positive results in negative. And positive divided by a negative results in negative. They are not that tough. Predecessor and successor. The terms successor and predecessor in maths means that they come directly after or before a particular number respectively. These can be applied to integers. The successor is termed as after numbers whereas the predecessor is termed as before numbers. Successor means that a number that succeeds something or a number that comes after a given number. In other words, a successor is like one more than the previous number. Predecessor means that 
a number that precedes another number or comes before the given number in other words it's minus 1 than the given number successor of negative integers we have learned what successor means now let's apply it to negative integers minus 91 is a negative integer we have learned that the successor of any number would be plus 1 so minus 91 plus 1 is equals to minus 90. If there are two different signs, we need to subtract. Minus 91 and plus 1. There are two different signs. So 91 minus 1 equals to 90. We put the sign of the greater number. 91 is greater. So we put minus. So now let's visualize it. Let's say this is minus 4. Okay. Minus 4 plus 1. So plus 1 is going to the right. Plus, minus 4 plus 1 is going one step to the right, which is minus 3. In the same way, if this is minus 91, going one step plus 1 equals going one step to the right, which is plus 1, so which is minus 90. This is simple. Predecessor of a negative integer. We learned what predecessor is. Now let's apply it to negative integers. So let's take the negative integer minus 91. We learned that predecessor is subtracting minus 1. It would be minus 91 plus of minus 1 equals to minus 91 minus 1. We learned that plus into minus positive into negative is negative. Simple. So if there are two same signs we need to add. 91 plus 1 equals 92 and we should put the sign of the greater number which here in this case is 91 which has a minus. So now let's visualize it on the number line. So this is minus 2 and if we minus 1 from it we have to go uh, minus 1 is taking one step to the left Why? okay so minus 2 minus 1 which is going one step to the left minus 3. It's simple. As we already learned that minus 1 is greater than minus 2. In the same way, minus 2 is greater than minus 3. And so is minus 91 greater than minus 92. So minus 92 is the predecessor of minus 90. It's simple. Here are a few points to remember. If we divide any number by 0, it's completely undefined. If we divide any number by 1, it's the number itself. Let's take the variable a and divide it by 0. Here, a can be any number. So, a divided by 0 is undefined. a divided by 1 is equal to a. The absolute value of any integer is its numerical value regardless of its sign. Thank you guys for watching my videos. Meet you in the next video. Until then like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet and share this video with your friends and family. Bye.